Okay, Ray Beadle here, just talking you through my favourite Tasman model here, the TA300 OE. Uh, we've got the fretboard and the bridge, a solid African ebony here. Uh, it's got the nice bright sound. Uh, the soundboard is solid Sitka spruce, and with the beautiful sunburst there, looks beautiful. Um, the back is solid mahogany, give you a look at that there. Yeah, the machine heads are, the machine heads are good tuning wise. Um, really easy to tune up. Sort of, yeah, it doesn't take long at all. It's great. This literally has had a new set of strings on this guitar about 10 minutes ago, and I've just recorded here today three or four tracks and been playing it pretty hard and, and bending strings, and it's all stayed in tune through the whole session. So, yeah, pretty reliable, I'd say. I started my musical journey when I was about nine years old. I started playing guitar. Um, mainly because my my family play guitar. When I was younger, my dad always played at home. And when I was about nine years old, I remember asking him to, to teach me to play. So uh, he would show me mostly country music and country blues sort of style stuff like... Um That sort of finger picking stuff when I was a kid, and and then he sort of after a couple of years he sort of passed me on to my uncles, and they played more sort of jazzy sort of stuff like with these sort of chords and that sort of stuff when I was about um, 13, 14, and as usual with teenagers back in the mid 90s. Steve Ray Vaughan was a big influence on me. Um, and I was obsessed with guitar probably from the age of 10 till 16, just day and night, just playing, taking it to school, playing at lunchtime and just ridiculous. Had no other thing in my life that I was interested in, just guitar. And then when I was about 16, I started to do gigs with bands in, in town, blues bands, the four-day riders and the hippos and and these guys sort of took me under their wing in the Sydney blues scene. And I really learned a lot more playing with other musicians in a live setting, in, you know, where people are right in front of you and it's like now or never sort of uh, vibe. And learning from other guitarists while you're playing with them was a big thing for me. Um, so there's the first stage of playing in your bedroom and then... Going out and playing with other musicians is just a whole other level of learning to play, which is great for me. So the blues style is, has always been a part of what I do. I do like other styles like country music and jazz and funk and rock. There's just so much great music out there, but the blues just always seems to be in everything that I play. Um, so, yeah, but the, the Tasman guitar here, the first time I played it, it just sort of... Um, it's just so bright and, and it felt easy to play. And it, yeah, it sort of pretty much plays itself. I love it. It's great. And it looks good too. Yeah. <laughs> what drew me to this model? Um, I've played all the models, all the Tasman models, um, which are all great in their own way. They've got different things that are good about them. But for me, the comfortability of this is the size of the guitar. It's really comfortable to hold and play. And um, yeah, it's. I've done a few gigs with it now and it just feels great. The guitar that I had before was a lot bigger than this. Um, but yeah, this, this is a good size. It's comfortable and you can sort of play a little bit sort of, it's easier to play the faster stuff on here as well. It's hard to get a good acoustic sound in the studio, believe it or not. And 
this was just super easy. You just put a mic in front of it and it just sounded great straight away. So yeah, really happy with it. There's still a whole lot of recording I'm doing at the moment. So that usually generates a lot of work. Um, so we just got announced this morning for Blues Fest next year. So that's a good fun festival to do always. Um, yeah, just lots of gigs around town. So yeah, if you want to have a look at raybiddle.com, you know, check out where I'm playing, that'd be good. Thank you.